Hey everyone, John Chow here from johnchow.com. It is Saturday. I'm here at the San Clemente Outlet for the weekly South OC Cars and Coffee. Let's go check it out. Okay, occupying the uh, the main spot is not Simon's Comel, but his uh, son James's Audi R8. And he's got the, uh, the back popped up. So let's take a look at that engine. I believe he added a supercharger onto it. And yeah, there it is. Uh, VF Engineering Supercharged V10. A great way to add another 200 horsepower to the car. I also see that it's got some new wheels. Very nice. More carbon bits. And uh, check out that exhaust setup. Oh, wow. <laughs> right out the back, two big pipes. Right, it was supercharged there. And, and of course the new sticker, Cars and Coffee, and the new show, Supercars by the Sea. And right next to it is, I guess, the Audi R8's cousin. So this is another supercharged uh, car, but in this case it's a Lamborghini Huracan. They use the same motor, so they're both V10, they're, yeah, they're, they're identical. And while we're here, let me show you something. You notice that the, uh, see the X-Brace? The X-Brace in the center, but you notice the supercharger is off to the left because the, the motor is actually shifted to the left in order to clear the transmission. And so Lamborghini, you know, just put the X-Brace on there, but on the Audi, check it out, check it out on the Audi here. <laughs> on the Audi, look at the X-Brace. The X-Brace is directly at the center of the supercharger. Uh, this is because, it's not because the Audi's engine is center. The Audi's engine is shifted to the left, you know, just like the Lamborghini. But what Audi did was they shifted the X brace over to the left so it lines up. So there's an example of German attention to detail versus Italian. We don't give a damn. Photo op. <laughs> Video op too. <laughs> All right. Uh, another Lamborghini, this STO, also by VS Engineering. FA Tributo. Uh, Audi station wagon, uh -oh. 911 Turbo, GT3, Audi R8. This one actually went uh, 201 miles an hour. Wow, certified. <laughs> California, McLaren 600 LT, and this one's got the uh, optional roof scoop. Uh, the real suit costs as much as a Honda Accord. Yeah, pretty crazy. In any case, another R8. Matte carbon fiber hood, matte carbon fiber canard, and a top mounted rear wing. GT3. Alright, four seated Ferrari, Italia. The Ferrari Italia. You know, uh, Ferrari has wanted to make a replacement and they made a 488, but a lot of people didn't like that because it was a turbocharged engine and wasn't naturally aspirated. So uh, the new Chevy Z06 is more like the true natural successor to the 488 than uh, anything Ferrari did afterward. Speaking of Ferrari, check this out. Whoa, vintage one here. Yeah. All original. He's <laughs> awesome. Viper, Viper, F430, GT2 RS. This is the fastest Porsche track car ever made. Yeah. Discontinue now. Uh, Porsche is working on a 992 GT3, GT3, GT2 RS. They got the GT3 RS that came out, so. This is the next one due for an upgrade. And normally it's just a totally track focused car meant for the racetrack only, but this particular owner, check it out. Baby seats, that's right, baby seats. Who says you can't carry a baby in a racing car? <laughs> F8, 650 Spider, CT4, another 600 LT with roof scoop, another Audi wagon. <laughs> All right, check it out, a 612, <laughs> a 612, a four-seater, two-door Ferrari with a six-liter V12. 
-hmm. And there's next to it a big Rolls Royce. Yeah. Of course, the Rolls Royce logo always stays vertical. You want to call it when the wheels are spinning. And this one is for sale. So if you're interested, 29,000 miles on it. Yeah, yeah, I guess you can carry people in the back seat. <laughs> 488 Spider, Corvette ZR1, Porsche, Bentley, California, Huracan Evil, another F8. And Sheepy Racing's Audi R8. This is a uh, twin turbo setup, making over a thousand horsepower. And he doesn't have the, the engine bay up, so can't really see it. Yeah, actually, I, 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 I can make out the inner cooler, but that's it. <laughs> yeah. Sheepy Race is a local, uh, local Orange County tuner getting pretty famous, they're almost as famous as underground racing, so. And the Porsche Targa. C8 Corvette convertible, very nice. 488 Ferrari with the uh, back up, so gives you a look at the engine here and so one first thing you notice about the uh, Ferrari engine, other than the you know the red top, is that it's mounted extremely low. Like, uh, yeah, it's, it's mounted very very low. In fact, the engine block itself, if you look at right down there, that's the top of the engine block. It's actually lower than than the wheel. All right. So, and the reason Ferrari does that is to keep while well, keeping the engine extremely low, you have a low center of gravity, and that that makes for better handling. Vintage Ferrari Testarossa from the Miami Vice Day, and the hood is up. So this is a great comparison between how Ferrari did the engine back then versus how they do it now. So look at the engine, look how high up it is. Like it is definitely way above the wheel, as you can see. I mean, yeah, way up there. And of course, much higher center of gravity. And this is why the, the new Ferraris are so much faster than the old Ferrari and they handle way, way better. Lower center of gravity. Now isn't that just the coolest setup? You got your woody truck and then your little uh, tiki, <laughs> tiki hut. <laughs> now this is how you merge the old vintage with the new tech. So we have a, a AC Cobra kit by Super Performance, I believe. And the engine is a, a supercharged Coyote V8. Yeah, modern engine meet vintage body. Love the knockout wheels. This Corvette here defines custom car, custom with a K. I mean, pretty ridiculous, but you know, somewhat cool. <laughs> Man, the Cadillac Land Yacht. Wow. <laughs> It must be like 22 feet long. Ford Mustang muscle car. Yeah, all about the engine. Big, humongous engine. As you can see, mounted quite high. You know, definitely not like a Ferrari that's below the wheel. Way up there. Uh, you know, muscle car, don't care about center of gravity. It's all about the big motor doing block long burnout. So, yeah. C8 Corvette. This is a coupe but you can remove the uh, top of the roof, so it's a targa, and you, when you remove it, it, it neatly stores in the trunk area. So, and when you're not using the trunk to store the roof, you can actually fit a couple of golf bags in there. And you can see the engine mounted pretty low, not as low as a Ferrari F8, but you know, low enough that makes the C8 one of the best handling cars in the world. And then this is the C8 
convertible edition. So it's basically just like that C8, but instead of a Targa, only removing the top, you can, you know, remove the hot top convertible stores back here, all done automatically. Whereas the, uh, the Targa, you gotta remove it manually. Uh, me, I would take the convertible 100% because, well, this is California and here in California, driving a convertible is required by law. Interesting license plate. <laughs> <laughs> Metallic pink. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we are now in Tundra territory. Yeah, it looks like a takeover of the Toyota Tundra Club. <laughs> wow, that, that's a lot of Tundras. Yeah, here we have three Lucid Air sedans. Cool, so this is uh, basically the biggest challenge yet to the uh, Tesla Model S. Uh, Lucid Air, so check it out. So you can see the, uh, the California Inspire two-tone interior. Okay, so we have the front, which is dark. And then when you go to the back, it, it goes light. Yeah, so this is the Grand Touring Edition. It has the longest range, over 500 miles. Engine makes over 800 horsepower. Zero to 60, around three and a half seconds. It's, uh, yeah, it's pretty fast. Glass roof. And another one different. Also, this is a Dream Edition, so this is the most powerful one. 1,111 horsepower. Yeah, and the most expensive, around $170,000. Uh, another one. So this is, uh, this is the white one. And uh, I see the owner tinted the windows already. And this is also a uh, this is the Grand Touring. All right, uh, really, you can't tell a Grand Touring from the Dream Edition. They look the same. Uh, difference in price is forty thousand dollars. So, loud McLaren. Yeah. I guess the uh, the late supercar comers can't find any space at the front, so they uh, they have been relegated to the back of the lot. <laughs> now we have entered the Tesla zone. Yes, it's all Tesla here. It looks like a cluster club meeting. Mostly Model 3s. Yeah, Tesla Club SoCal. Okay, that's Tesla Club SoCal is here. And the loud car. You're parking with the Teslas. <laughs> this is like the this is all like electric car row. So here we have the F-150 Lightning electric pickup truck. And I can't believe it. Supercars parking at the very back of South Sea Cars and Coffee. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's a it's a pretty big show today. All right, so here we have. A 765 LT Spider. Whoa, ho, 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 yeah. Uh, this is my favorite supercar of them all. I mean, first of all, it's a Spider, so the top comes down. It's a convertible, perfect for California. It's 765 horsepower, hence the uh, the number. Yeah. It's uh, you can't see the engine because well, it's a convertible, but you know, yeah. And there's, there's another 765. This is the regular regular LT, non-spider. So you can't take the top off, but it means you can see the motor. Well, not you know you can't. Well, you, a bit a bit of it here, tiny bit. And just like the F8 Ferrari, the engine is really, really low. Like it is actually below the wheel level. So, yeah. You know, you want the handling, you gotta keep the engine low. Today seems to be takeover day. So we had, you know, Tundra takeover, Tesla takeover, and here we have Lamborghini Aventador takeover. I mean, one, two, three. I've never seen this many Lamborghini Aventador all in one place, so check it out. Yeah, Aventador, Aventador SV, SVJs. Crazy, crazy. Wow. Yeah, I mean, this has got to be a record for for Lamborghinis at the uh, at South Pole Cars and go look at this one, wow. That's pretty nuts. 
green one, and it continues on down the road. And on this side as well, so. Yeah, okay, uh, I admit the Lamborghini get the best takeover. Definitely more Lamborghini Aventador than there are Teslas and Tundras here. And they're still coming in, so. can't even park together right now there's so many of them okay so this is self OC cars and coffee uh, where else can you see about looks like three dozen Lamborghini Aventadors yeah so it happens every Saturday from 9 to 11 here at the San Clemente outlet if you're in the area you should definitely check it out especially if you're a car person John Chauvin John thank you for watching give me a thumbs up if you like this please like and share my video subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time